Hey everybody, it's Cas072, bringing you Wi-Fi battle number 5. Well guys, this was supposed to be an RU battle, and yeah, but by my opponent's team, it's pretty obvious it's not an RU battle. Well, I brought an RU team at least, so I hope you enjoy the video, um, and let's see what happened in this awesome battle. So... I wanted to start off with my Gavantula because I just wanted to scout out what exactly he was going to do. I was thinking maybe the Ninetales, you know, to get the Drought on. But he sends out the Vaporeon, so I was like, oh, okay. But he actually withdraws Vaporeon and he throws out his Ninetales. Now, in my mind, I'm like, dang it, I don't want to deal with Sun right now. But when he comes out, there's no Drought. So I was like, oh, okay. So I go for the Choice Specs Volt Switch and doesn't do much damage actually, but what can you do? So I get Gaventula out there and I throw in my Aerodactyl. This is an Adamant Nature Aerodactyl and it's just a full on attacker Choice Banded. So I just go for the Choice Banded Earthquake and go for the kill and there's no more nine, nine tails. This match was quite odd actually because the team was three fire types and three water types and the fire type didn't have drought. I don't know, I was confused with it, but what can you do? So I'm stuck in Earthquake, and I know Earthquake can't do nothing to a Charizard, so I have to get my Aerodactyl out of the battle, and I throw out my Gardevoir. I think that's how you say it. I always mess up with its name. So I throw out the Gardevoir, and I trace that good old Blaze. So I was predicting maybe an Air Slash, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, something like that, but it goes for the Fly. That was, um... I don't know what to say about this battle. It's really odd. So I go for the Calm Mind just because I know that I could take a fly from Charizard. At least one at least. So I got my special attack up and my special defense up. I'm feeling all confident. And Charizard hits a fly. And Charizard does quite enough dam quite a bit of damage. But I'm guessing because Gardevoir my Gardevoir isn't physically defensive at all. So I go for the Shadow Ball and I'm thinking a plus one it could take out shouldn't take out this Charizard. Not really. I guess it could be because my Gardevoir is a timid nature that it just didn't have enough power even with Life Orb to take out the Charizard. I guess modest nature, but whatever. So Gardevoir goes down to the flamethrower and that made me sad. But hey, what can you do? So I see that its HP is pretty low and I know my Skeptile can freaking rape it because it's fast. Now Skeptile is a monster. This is Unburdened Skeptile, as you can see with the Flying Gem. And I'm telling you guys, Unburdened Skeptile can wreck a team. And this is going to be an example of Unburdened Skeptile wrecking a team. So, Ozzy sends out Flareon. I was fearing of the Flame Charge, and I was fearing any actual physical move from Flareon. But I took a chance and I went for a Swords Dance. So, I'll go for the Swords Dance. I get a plus two attack. I'm feeling confident, and it goes for the Flame Charge. So, this is when I was just like... Oh crap. I was a like, shit, 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 shit. Bam. 29 HP. It doesn't really matter for that he had a plus one speed because I had the unburden activated. So I go for an acrobatics and I knock it out. The rest of this video is going to be, um, well, Skeptile killing everything. So we're just going to let Skeptile kill everything. And I'm going to talk about this Pokemon group I'm in. They're called Pokemon International. They're a really cool group, a lot of members, and they're amazing battlers in there. I'm going to leave a link in the bottom to their cha to their Facebook group. And they have their own personal YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link to that too. And their YouTube, you can actually upload your battles as long as you're a subscriber. And it can be in any language. That is the cool part. Spanish, English, German, Japanese, whatever you speak, go ahead and put it. We, we want different languages we want vi variety sorry if i said that wrong i'm not very good at my english um but yeah guys i hope you're enjoying the video and if you do enjoy it please leave a comment a like and tell people about it favorite if you can and i hope you all enjoy this little sweep that septile just did and bam samurai's dead so Leave a like, favorite, subscribe, subscribe to International, Pokemon International channel. They're really good and I love you all. Thanks you for making my YouTube somewhat better. I love you all. Bye. Uh.
So I'm sorry. <laughs>